Are extinct species really regularly discovered? Which animals have returned from the other realm? And is it true that mammoths may still be alive? Let's find out together. In this episode, I'll tell you about the return of extinct animals that seem to have turned the history of the Earth back. Let's go. Chicoan Peccary the species called the Chicoan peccary was first scientifically described in 1930. By nature, it was one of the largest mammals in South America, its closest relative being the wild hog. Surprisingly, the description of the species was based on fossilized remains. It never occurred to anyone that a huge ancient boar could still roam the earth. However, in 1974, an Argentinian zoologist named Raph Wadzel presented the world a real sensation a living peccary. As it turned out, it would be really hard to find an individual of this species by accident. Chicoan peccaries are nicknamed pigs from green hell because of their wild, undiscovered habitat. <laughs> These animals prefer arid and wild habitats untouched by man. To live in such environments, they've acquired unique characteristics, such as well-developed sinuses, which help them survive in dry, dusty conditions. Their legs are fairly short, allowing the animals to maneuver among thorny plants. Thus, the Chicoan peccary is one of the last large mammals to be discovered. Today, there are around 3,000 surviving individuals of the species. Colacanth Scientifically speaking, the Colacanth genus of fish became extinct in the late Jurassic, about 145 million years ago. No one ever thought to look for them in the ocean, and all descriptions for school atlases were based on fossils. However, in 1938, the curator of a maritime museum in South Africa and local fishermen caught a previously unseen large and aggressive fish in the Indian Ocean. The curious find was taken to the East London Museum, where it was spotted by research assistant Miss Latimer. In order to not let the valuable individual go to waste, she decided to stuff it since the fish could not be kept alive before the arrival of the scientists. Scientists who visited the museum carefully examined the find and confirmed that this was indeed the colacanth, one of the oldest fish on the planet. The new member of the genus was named Letamaria, after the museum worker who preserved it for science. Hispaniolian Solenodon Despite its funny appearance and tiny size, this mammal is a close relative of the common shrew. It inhabited the planet as early as 60 million years ago. Today, however, the habitat of this species has significantly shrunk. They are now found only in Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. For a long time, nobody even thought of the possibility of survival of the Hispaniolian Solodon. The sensation in the scientific community occurred thanks to the years-long work of a Dominican zoologist. The official recognition of the species as living took place relatively recently. A surprising fact, Hispaniolian Solenodons are one of the few venomous mammals. On the inner side of the lower incisors of these animals, there's a deep slit, to which the duct of the gland that secretes the venomous secret approaches. Because of this feature, these animals have received the scientific name of their family and genus. The venom of Hispaniolian solenodonts is not lethal to humans, but it is destructive to invertebrates and small vertebrates that serve as food. The mammalian venom can kill a chicken, and even the Hispaniolian solenodon itself since these animals are not immune to their own weapons. There have been known cases where Hispaniolian Solenodons have been killed during skirmishes among themselves, even with minor wounds. Gilbert's Patoru Gilbert's Patoru, also known as a Nagil cat, does not differ much from an ordinary rodent externally. At dusk, an ordinary person can hardly distinguish it from a rat. However, this is not just a rat but an extremely rare rodent and one of the endangered mammal species. Gilbert's Patoro was first discovered in 1840 by a naturalist named John Gilbert. Patoros were once very common in Australia, but local farmers considered them a serious threat to their crops. Just 38 years after its discovery, the species had disappeared as a result of mass eradication and poisoning and was considered extinct until it was rediscovered in 1994. It happened in one of Western Australia's reserves. According to scientists, the current estimated population of the species is only 70 individuals. However, this can already be considered a small victory. Thanks to conservation efforts, the original wild population was able to grow. 
Langomera Giant Lizard Langomera giant lizards are one of the main attractions of the Canary Islands. A few years ago, they were considered extinct, which isn't surprising, because the existing descriptions of the species were made on the basis of fossils found. Plus, the size of these lizards was much larger than that of most modern species. They could exceed one meter in length. It would seem impossible not to notice such a giant in the wild, but facts tell the opposite. The species was rediscovered in 1999 virtually by accident. It was discovered by a group of zoologists who went to Lagomera to check the reports of local residents about strange, large lizards settled on the island. So it turned out that the newcomers to the island, these lizards, have actually inhabited it longer than anyone else. Today, the conservation program is working surprisingly well. There are already more than 400 individuals of the species in captivity, and another 300 individuals, according to scientists, can live in the wild in different regions of the Canary Islands. It seems that scientists are willing to try much harder for lizards than for rodents, but there are much more interesting animals once thought to be extinct. Let's move on. Further, there are many shocking discoveries. Bermuda Petrel For scientists, the Bermuda Petrel has already become a symbol of hope for the protection of nature. This nocturnal nesting seabird is a national bird of Bermuda. The fantastic coming back to life of this petrel, which had been thought extinct for several hundred years, has thrilled many scientists and conservationists. When Columbus's ship passed near Bermuda in 1492, at least half a million Bermuda petrels were nesting on the islands. So, what happened? The people. With their arrival, the habitats suitable for these birds were reduced. The arrival of many new predators, including domestic cats and dogs, also played an important role. Bermuda petrels were forced to settle further and further away from their usual habitats, choosing remote cliffs or even moving to remote desert islands. All of this led to the fact that people gradually stopped seeing them altogether. Of course, the species was thought to be extinct. But in 1951, they were seen again. Unfortunately, the population of these beautiful birds declined to a critical level. In the middle of the last century, only a few dozen individuals of the species were found. These days, the population has grown only slightly. Now, scientists count a few hundred individuals. Not many, but there is hope. Living Mammoths Many of you are probably wondering if a peculiar resurrection could have occurred with Bermuda petrels do scientists have a chance to rediscover mammoths? Well, the chances of such a rediscovering do exist. Scientists know that one of the earliest and most ancient documented sightings of a living mammoth by man took place in 579 AD. In that year, a strange beast was allegedly caught by hunters in Yangzhou, China, which they called Dezhang. That translates as big elephant. This creature was described as a really gigantic and stocky elephant with long black hair. It was kept in captivity for some time, but that's where the story ends and nothing more is known about it. In the early 19th century, several reports of sightings of mammoths came from British Columbia. Local Indians said that the huge, hairy creatures on four legs roamed the forest and never lay down on the ground. They leant their backs on the thick trees to sleep. In 1811, explorer David Thompson discovered elephant-like tracks in the Canadian forest. He thought they might have been left by a young mammoth but acknowledged that other than the stories of hunters and these footprints, he found no real evidence of mammoths. In the early and mid-20th century, reports of mammoth sightings never ceased. The animals allegedly were found in the United States, in Canada, and in Siberia. It's a pity that none of the eyewitnesses managed to provide scientists with convincing evidence of encounters. However, perhaps everything is yet to come. That's all, guys. Which animal would you like to revive? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.